Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I welcome you to this celebration of the Eucharist Mass for you at home. Today we celebrate two wonderful occasions. One, it is Vocations Sunday, where we pray for vocations. Good Shepherd Sunday. But it's also Mother's Day, so happy Mother's Day to all mothers over there. We're praying for all of you. We're praying that God will fill your heart with joy as he filled the heart of Mary in beholding the, the love of Jesus. So as we begin this time of worship, let's just spend a moment in silence, asking God for his mercy, his love, and his embrace. Lord, you give us life and you give it to us in abundance. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When we turn to you, you never refuse us. Show us your love and mercy. Christ, have mercy. And Lord, for those times where we didn't trust in your goodness, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns with you in unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and Barnabas carried on from Perga till they reached Antioch in Pisidia. Here they went to the synagogue on the Sabbath and took their seats. When the meeting broke up, many Jews and devout converts joined Paul and Barnabas, and in their talks with Paul and Barnabas, urged them to remain faithful to the grace God had given them. The next Sabbath, almost the whole town assembled to hear the word of God. When they saw the crowds, the Jews, prompted by jealousy, used blasphemies and contradicted everything Paul said. Then Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly. We had to proclaim the word of God to you first. But since you have rejected it, since you do not think yourselves worthy of eternal life, we must turn to the pagans. For this is what the Lord commanded us to do when he said, I have made you a light for the nations, so that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. It made the pagans very happy to hear this, and they thanked the Lord for his message. All who were destined for eternal life 
became believers. Thus, the word of the Lord spread through the whole countryside. But the Jews worked upon some of the devout women of the upper classes and the leading men of the city and persuaded them to turn against Paul and Barnabas and expel them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in defiance and went off to Iconium. But the disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. One of the elders said to me, these are the people who have been through the great persecution and because they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb, they now stand in front of God's throne and serve him day and night in his sanctuary. And the one who sits on the throne will spread his tent over them. They will never hunger or thirst again. Neither the sun nor scorching wind will ever plague them, because the lamb who is at the throne will be their shepherd and will lead them to springs of living water. And God will wipe away all tears from their eyes. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and mine know me. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost and no one will ever steal them from me. 
The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone, and no one can steal them from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is nothing more beautiful, nothing more precious than being able to serve the Lord. I love being a priest. Today, we celebrate Vocation Sundays, but just a reminder that vocations is not just the priesthood. We have married life, we have consecrated life, there's religious life, but I can speak on my behalf about vocations. I didn't always want to be a priest. In fact, I used to pray, God, please, anything but being a priest. But you know, the person who inspired me most in my priesthood, in my vocation to the priesthood, is my mama, my mother. On this Mother's Day, I cannot help but be grateful for the role of my mother in my vocation. My mother always prayed. She somehow knew that I was going to one day be a priest. In fact, one day she was praying for me. And as she was praying in her room, I found this out many years later. But as she was praying this one day, I was a teenager, just coming out of my addictions. I was in a place of rebellion. I was in a really dark place in my life. And religion and God were the furthest from my heart. But she prayed and she saw a picture of me sitting down with a group of teenagers with a guitar in my hand and with a collar, a priest's collar. Now, I wasn't a musician then. I had never played any music. I was terrified of teenagers, and I certainly never thought of the priesthood. But she knew. She had a heavenly vision of what I could be. And she prayed, she prayed, and she prayed for her son to reach the potential of this vocation. Now, I'm here today as a priest because of the perseverance of my mother, because she never gave up on me, because she continued to pray, even through everything that was telling her that this vision you had is not a God vision. Why am I saying this? We need to pray for our children, for our grandchildren, that there will be vocations. You see, many young people do have vocations, but not enough parents and grandparents are willing to graze their knees in prayer for their children. So I'm grateful for those of you who are praying for your children for religious life, consecrated life, married life, a holy life. Ultimately, this is what the greatest vocation is, to be like Jesus. So let us pray for vocations. Let us thank God for the gift of motherhood, parenthood, in the role of vocations. It all works together. We are leading our young people to the good shepherd, Jesus, who leads us to eternal life, but calls us, as in our vocation, to lead others to Christ. Let us now proclaim our faith in the Good Shepherd. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As followers of Christ, the Good Shepherd, let us come to God in prayer with our needs and those of the world. That the Pope and all bishops and priests throughout the world will be faithful shepherds of Christ's flock. We are your people. Lord, hear our prayer. That all nations and peoples will work together to fight the pandemic in all places throughout the world. We are your people. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who live on the land will be blessed with healthy stock and abundant crops. We are your people. Lord, hear our prayer. That this community comes to know Christ more deeply and listens to his voice. We are your people. Lord, hear our prayer. 
God, the fountain of all joy, you have entrusted your people into the hands of Christ, your Son. May we never become separated from Jesus, our shepherd. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. So pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and the glory of his name. Cry from the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that by the renewal we constantly work within us may be the cause of unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day above all, to Lord you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world, by dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. And Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. Shepherd, he feeds his 
his flock and gathers the lambs in his arms, holding them carefully close to his heart, leading them home. I myself will shepherd them. On behalf of the Diocese of Wollongong, thank you for joining us for this time of prayer. There's nothing more powerful than seeking the Lord together, people from all around the nation and the world. If you'd like to know more about myself and the ministry that I do online, please go to frgministry.com. There are prayers, liturgies, online courses, and more. Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. And a happy Mother's Day. Today's Mass is proudly sponsored by White Lady Funerals. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. Thank you for your generous support of Mass for You at Home through prayer, messages and financial support. If you are in a position to contribute or contribute again, you can help secure the ongoing future of this vital ministry. May God continue to bless us all as we seek to follow him.